It's Christmas at the Faribault House today, and we are uh, setting up for the Faribault Christmas open house and thought that today it might be fun to see how the centerpiece and the dining room table comes together. With us is volunteer Sharon Jensen, and Sharon's been doing this apple and pineapple centerpiece for the house for the last 10 years. The apples were donated by Trump's Nursery, and they've done that for 10 years and we're very appreciative of that. And what I do, I this year I whipped up three or four egg whites, I think it was four, and till they're frothy in one bowl, and then I have a stainless steel bowl with sugar, and I took each apple and put the egg white on it, rolled it in the sugar, and then I have my counter covered with saran wrap because it gets real hard and sticky and I put all the apples on the saran wrap three or four days before today so everything all of the egg white was dry and it just was worked out really well if you do it ahead of time two or three or four days and then I brought them down today and we put them together on the centerpiece uh, I said the um, mold or the form was given to me 25 years ago by a friend made out of wood and uh, anybody can do this. You don't have to have a talent. Just have your sugars, know how to sugar your apples, and you're good to go in some evergreen to fill in. And we did do research as far as how the Faribault's may have decorated, and they would have used fruit, apples, sugared fruit, red ribbons, and we've tried to keep somewhat pure in our decorating. And whether they would have had a pineapple or not, that's questionable. But definitely in the 1900s, when the Leary family lived here, they would have had a pineapple. It means friendship, welcome, and uh, they would share it with their neighbor. If they had a party one day and the neighbor would have a party the next, they would share their pineapple because it was treasured. Um, and then I think of our state capitol that has pineapples coming out of the hub of the wheel on the, uh, I think it's called Quadriga. And uh, that's over 100 years old, the capital. So I, everybody loves pineapples at Christmas.